Dukes and Duke Gets City at TV. I'm Eddie Ed back with another video story time. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below and also comment. Today's story time, man, I'm going to be talking about um, a time I used to work for the moving company. But let's hop straight into it. Um, so it was me and my co worker, uh, Tyler, right? You know, on this day, I was a crew leader of the job and I'm like, you know what? Let's let's make this quick. It's not a big it's not a big job. Let's let's knock this out as fast as possible. You know, let's let's try to let's try to make this thing quick. So we we prepared ourselves, we, we got everything we need for the truck. Um, we saw what the what the uh, the paperwork looked like, you know. On the paperwork it shows a whole bunch of stuff on it of like, you know, how much stuff the person has and stuff like that, the load and the drop off. So we prepared ourselves, we're like, okay, this is a it's a pretty fairly simple job. So let's go ahead and knock it out as quick as possible so we can get home fast. So we get the stuff, we load the truck, uh, we do our checkups like we usually do before the job, before we get uh, before we get to the job. It ended up being a pretty small job. All we had to do was move a person into their new place and they didn't have a lot of stuff to move around so like i think it was like a couch a uh, bed piece a couple of you know um decorative pieces like vases and stuff like that so it was fairly it was a fairly light job it wasn't a full truck uh meaning like you know we didn't have to fill up our truck you know to unload it so we get to the unload and you know we unload the truck everything is nice and dandy you know we move fairly quickly we got this job done within a couple maybe about three hours and we had to drive to the to the drop-off which is the person's um, new place they're moving into and I wasn't too far away and so we got this job done within about three hours and we're happy because we're like yes we got the job done we got tipped you know tip is always <laughs> it's always a good thing we got tipped and we were able to go home early so we we were excited yes we have a good day uh, Yes, yes, we had a good day and, you know, let's go home, eat, and relax. So we pack up the truck, we load, give each other high fives, you know, dap each other up. Yes, sir. <laughs> yup, hey, hey. So did, did we get it done? We got it done quick, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha. Boom, right? Um, so, so we're leaving. Before we leave, you know, I noticed, okay, we got to get gas because we had to drive to town. Um, so the place that we went to, the city that we went to, was outside of our city. And we do that from time to time. We drive to different cities to, you know, do the job. So we had to, you know, drive, a, I think about like a 45 minute drive, 40 to 50 minute drive back to, you know, our city from where we had done the job. And so, you know, we had to get, I looked at the gas meter. I said, okay, we need some gas. Let's go get some gas. Boom. Get to the gas station, pump the gas. You know, I'm like, yay. Let's be out of here. Let's get home quick. And we're done. Hit the road driving. You know, everything is cool. Everything is good. We're happy. I'm over there smiling at him. <laughs> hey, man. Wasn't that it, man? You know, we're talking our junk, right? You know, we over there, you know, happy about going home. And I'm driving. I'm driving on, on the highway, I-75. I and I start noticing, like, okay, I'm pumping the gas pedal. But it wasn't going any faster. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I got it on cruise, cruise control. But usually on cruise control, when you pump the gas, it's going to go faster. So I pumped the gas, and I noticed it's getting kind of weak. I'm like, oh, snap, is, is everything all right? I didn't think too much of it because I thought it was under control. Then I noticed we started slowing down. I'm like, oh, shoot, what's going on here? I'm like, hey, 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 T, you feel this? It's not going faster. And then I looked at the... Uh, <laughs> I looked at the... You know, the the gas diagnosis. What? Huh? Basically, I looked at what the mileage per hour was doing, and it was go slowly declining. I'm like, and then I pumped the brake or, or the gas. It's not pushing us nowhere. So I'm like, oh, this car, this is dying. And luckily, on the I-75, there wasn't anybody behind us directly. So I was able to swerve onto the side of the road luckily i don't know how i did it but i came from all the left lane all the way over to the right lane on the side of the curb i maneuvered us over and got us on the side of the road uh in perfect peace thankfully and i'm like oh my gosh what the heck is wrong with this car why did this car die on us 
right? We 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 thought we were going home free. We we said, okay, hey, we done going home. We we were good. This was the fastest job we did, you know, and plus we had got gotten tipped. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna be great. We're getting home quick. Then the engine dies on us. We're distraught. We're like, oh my gosh, this can't be happening to us. What the heck, right? Why? So we call our manager. The manager's like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call you a tow truck. And, and 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 he asked us what happened. And and I told him, hey, boom, boom, you know, everything is good. This down the third. So he calls us the tow truck. And the tow truck, uh, he says, is gonna be there in, around like I think I think at the time it was like two o'clock. In the afternoon, I think he said it's gonna be there at like seven. So we're like, oh crap, we're gonna have to wait for this tow truck. It's not gonna get here anytime soon, you know. At least it's gonna be here before, you know, ten. So I was, I was alright with it. He was alright. He was kind of pissed off <laughs> because we both wanted to get home, but we couldn't. He had a little bit of thing going on, but I was, I had to stay calm and collected. So we wait, we wait. Um, the tow truck is not coming. Tow truck is not coming anytime soon. So we call our manager again. Hey man. Listen, the tow truck isn't here. Ba 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 ba, right? <clears throat> but even before that, I, I forgot to mention this. I realized that I had put the gas, the wrong gas, into the truck. Congratulations, you played yourself. I put the wrong type of diesel into the truck. But I didn't, I don't think I realized that at the time. So we call him again, like I said. Yeah, the tow truck's not here. What's going on? Cause you call him to make sure he gets here, and he 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 ended up giving me the number cause he was busy. So I called the tow truck people. He said he's gonna be on the way. He's kind of close. He's finishing up a job in a in a different city that's close by. So we're like, okay, he's gonna be here pretty soon. Two hours go by. It's it's like it's like get it. It's getting dark. It's getting dark at this time. It's getting mad late. You know, I'm hungry. Um, thirsty. I need to take a piss, right? But we're on the side of the road. I can't do any of that, almost. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to be there like, you know, a couple hours. Like, okay, now we got to wait more, a couple more hours, right? He's not there. The guy is not there, right? He didn't come in a couple hours. It took him longer. So now flies are coming. You know, the mosquitoes, when it turn, when it gets dark, the mosquitoes come out. You know, I don't know what happens, but but they're on time. <laughs> the mosquitoes are out. We're frustrated. At this point, I'm pissed off too because the whole day is gone. Our plan from the start of let's finish this job quick is over with. We we finished the job quick, but we didn't get home fast. <laughs> so our our plan failed, right? We finished the first half, but something freaking happened along the middle to where we didn't come to the finish line like we wanted. So He's mad, I'm mad, I'm hungry, he's hungry, he's tired, I'm tired. Bro, let's just get home. So we're waiting on this guy, he finally comes at like 11. P 11.30, 11.30 getting close to 12. We're like, bro, finally. And he's hooking us up, he's doing the straps things. And I just begin to feel a little like weird. Like, you know, it's late at night. You know, getting to midnight, we're out late. We don't know where we're going. He he tells us, yeah, I'm gonna drive you next to the uh, the the nearest city so that you can get a, a new truck, a rental truck, and then be able to do the thing. So my manager had told us, okay, the the tow truck is gonna take you to the to the rental uh, space for the for the new truck so you can drive home. And you know, he sets the whole thing up for us. So we, so when we get there, we just pick up the truck. And then we leave. So I had no idea, you know, the ins and outs of the of the rental until we got there. So the so the tow truck guy hooks our truck up and you know gets us inside his truck and everything like that. He seemed like a cool dude. We were talking about cheap hot dogs and um Whoa! hamburger meat from like the Dollar Tree or something like that. We started talking about that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That was kind of interesting because he 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 described he described eating more for cheap, but I'm pretty sure the food that he was eating was was bad for your health. So anyway, he drives us over to the nearby city, and I'm starting to feel like a little nervous a little bit because first of all, I don't know where we're going. It's late. It's midnight at this point. It's midnight because it takes us a little bit to get to the spot. It's midnight, late. I don't know where we're at. We get to the place where the where the rental trucks are. We hop out. You know, I'm kind of feeling good a little bit. 
now that I know it, we're gonna get closer to getting home. But I look around where we're at, bro. It's black, no, barely nobody around. You know, a lot of crazy things happening. So I'm, I'm like on on ten toes, trying to see if we can get home safe. So we get inside the uh, rental truck place. We, we. You know, we talked to the person at the front desk. Hey, yeah, we're here to pick up the rental truck. You know, our manager called in early. He ordered it for us. Ba ba ba. Right? We give him the whole ba ba. Um, he's like, I don't got your order. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. What? Our manager ordered. We should be set. Everything is in there. He ordered it for us. He told us, bop, bop, bop. He gave us everything. I called my manager. I'm like, hey, um, you know, bop. And and he was asleep at this point. I woke him up. He was he was tired. He 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 wasn't even speaking normal English. He's like, yeah, um, yeah, just um, you know, lap dancing. Whoa! Uh, what? <laughs> hey, wait. They 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 said you didn't order the truck. What's going on? Yeah, um, you know, just tell them that, you know, to, to give them the number and call the people. I'm like, hey, man, we don't got we don't got time for this. It's going to be game over for us. Somebody going to pop us. Right? That's what I was thinking in my mind. But he told us there's a confirmation number. Just call the uh, uh, the company that I ordered it with or whatever like that. And I'm like, huh? I was a little confused, but ended up calling the people, giving him some kind of number. And he finds our order. And luckily, we get the truck. So that we can leave. But I'm not going to lie. When when he said we couldn't find the order. I didn't know what to do. When I told when I told Tyler. Yeah man. He said we couldn't find the order. He was freaking out. This It was a white guy. He was freaking out. He was like dude. What? We, we, you got to do something. And as the crew leader. Being being responsible for, for the whole operation. I'm like hey man. I had, I had no idea what to do man. I was just going off of like. I was able to stay calm, but on the inside, I was like, ah, ah, ah. that's how I was on the inside. I was panicking, but we had to figure, we had to get, get focused so that we could figure out how to leave, how to get back home safely, how not to get our, you know, popped or our throats slit, right? So ended up doing what Russ said, and and I called some people. Probably I don't think he told us. I think I just came up with that on my own. Anyways, was able to get the truck. Got inside the truck. We were so relieved because had we not got the confirmation number somehow, I don't know how we, I, I forgot, I think we called somebody. Had we not got that number, we probably wouldn't have been able to drive on, on our own. So we would have been stuck in the middle of nowhere. We're not calling, the, we're not calling the Uber. We are not calling the Uber. Reason why? Obvious. Obvious because it's it's sketchy. In an in unknown city, we're not calling no Uber to get home. So we get the truck and we do our thing. And we drive home, and as we're driving home, we drive in, like, through the country. And if, if anybody knows the country area, you know that <clears throat> when you drive in the country, is no lights, everything is pitch black, the only lights you have is on your car. So you, so you, it's, it looked creepy, it looked like you were in Get Out, part three. No, like, I'm looking around, and like, man, what if the car, what if this truck stops? And I begin to think, like, okay, what if this truck stops? Because if this truck stops, we are done you know i'm thinking people in the woods are going to come out and know that we got stuck and get us right i'm thinking the random movie thoughts like when you watch those movies you begin to think in them scenarios that you're it's over with like if you get stuck in the woods you're dead <laughs> okay but luckily nothing happened i was scaring tyler i was like hey hey <laughs> i wonder if our truck gets stuck like what if our truck stops again he's like bro man Dude, stop, stop saying that. Stop talking like that, man. Stop, come on, man. You're scaring me, making me nervous. And he was a bigger guy than I was. So it's kind of funny to see him get nervous. But anyway, we drive home. We get there at like 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m., 2 3 a.m., around there. And we're tired. I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. I'm all that. And wasn't able to get anything to eat because everything is shut down. Had to go home, take a shower. And I think I ate some cereal or something. It was just a weird time to eat real food. I don't know. It was just very unusual for me. But when we got to the shop, man, I was relieved. I was excited to get home, but very disappointed in how things turned out because we planned out a whole day that failed pretty much. We did everything correct 
until we were driving back home. That night was a scary night. It was funny. It was scary. It was a whole bunch of different emotions uh, wrapped in one because, you know, I was laughing at Tyler because of his frustration. I was pissed off because of the situation. He was pissed off. Man, it's just a lot was going on that day. And, and we, the most important thing is we got home safely, but our whole day was just ruined. Yeah.